Welcome to All Grown Up Now, Tales of a Checkered Past. I'm Kenneth D. King, podcasting from my studio near Union Square in New York City. This podcast is an evolution of the tale, All Grown Up Now, A Friendship in Three Acts. This is season two, and it's called Tales of a Checkered Past. It's a collection of short stories from my salad days on up to the present. In each podcast, another self-contained story will be presented. Enjoy. This is a special report that I call At My Peril. With the war going on in Ukraine, I posted on my Instagram feed a repost that showed my support for the Ukrainian people. I got a message from an irate follower about that post. She said, You've lost me as a customer. You post about politics at your peril. At my peril. Indeed. When I first started my sewing and teaching career, I was counseled by several of the people who knew. The message was, shut up about the gay thing. It makes people uncomfortable. You won't get work. In other words, I needed to not be who I am or talk about it, even though I'm obviously gay which to me seemed silly. People have eyes and ears, and to pretend otherwise would insult their intelligence. To make part of my livelihood by denying who I am was and is something I'm not interested in doing. So I went forward, as I am, at my peril. Over the years, I've observed that I don't get asked to certain parts of the country, and it has been implied that this is because of the gay thing. That said, there are people from those parts of the country who travel to my in-person classes and sign up for my online classes. I assume that they read my articles and they buy my books as well. My theory about this is that my audience self-selects. The people I'm fortunate to attract to my classes, those I get to interact with, seem to be more broad-minded. That said, I've had several moving conversations about the effect that being who I am, at my peril, has had on others. One conversation that comes to mind is a woman I spoke with in Toronto. Now, I've mentioned this conversation in another podcast. This woman had started following me when I first arrived on the scene in San Francisco in 1990. She followed me over the years, and my appearance brought her to this particular event in Toronto. I was the headline speaker for the gala dinner. It was after that dinner that we had our conversation. She told me that her preacher insisted that people like me would burn in hell because of the gay thing. Despite that, though, something about me kept her engaged interested, and following me through the years. Then my son came out, she told me. And my preacher told me that my son would burn in hell too. And right then, I knew my preacher was wrong. I have a wonderful relationship with my son because you are who you are. She educated herself, pushed back ignorance and the fear it generates, and opened her mind and got a better relationship with her son as a result. This was heartwarming. As it happened, I did some good just by being authentic and not worrying about that phrase, at my peril.
This Instagram is a newish thing for me. Now, I've chosen to be on Instagram because it allows me to reach a wider audience, to interact and speak with people across the world. And this has been wonderful. However, I've run across this phenomenon a few times. Outrage and indignation that I would be impertinent enough to express my opinions on politics. The complaint is that the person wants to have a politics-free experience following me. They want to enjoy the instruction, commentary, and whatever cool stuff my account provides, but I'm not allowed to venture into politics at my peril. At my peril. Those words go right up my back. I'm an openly gay man. I came out in Oklahoma City in 1980 at my peril. I suffered the bullying, ignorance, and bigotry of living in one of the rectangular states. Coming out in 1980, I was counseled not to be too gay. And when I got beat up, the feeling was he deserved it. If he wasn't such a fag, they'd leave him alone. But I was who I was at my peril. There are dear friends of mine in other marginalized communities whose daily lives require them to navigate their own minefields of prejudice, harassment, and discrimination, and they do it at their peril. I'm a member of one community that, in many parts of the country, is marginalized at best, harassed, and attacked. Even in New York, I'm vigilant, especially if I'm wearing something particularly flamboyant at my peril. But I continue to wear it at my peril. We persist because we have no choice. So, to those who don't want my political beliefs to spoil their enjoyment of the contents of my Instagram feed, I feel I need to clear the air at my peril. I'm a liberal and a Democrat. I think all people should have equal opportunity and access to education, jobs, voting rights, and civil rights. I think a woman has the right to choose what she does with her own body without interference from anyone else. I think people should be free to marry whom they choose, whichever gender that may be. I am all for the separation of church and state, freedom from religion in the public sphere, so I can worship as I choose in my private life. That is as the Constitution intended. I think equal access to a good education is crucial to combat ignorance, ignorance being at the bottom of many of the ills that are affecting our country. Ignorance breeds fear, and no good decisions can ever be made out of fear. This idea of banning books in schools is deeply shocking to me. When I was in school, we were taught that the banning of books was one of the things my father fought against in World War II. I'm sure he's spinning in his grave at the idea that book banning is even considered in our country right now. Finally, I think that we should be supporting a country that is fighting to preserve their country and their democracy from being crushed by a dictator who wants to seize their land and crush their freedom. So, some might ask, what if speaking out like this costs you Instagram followers? The thinking being that I should be afraid of that. The fearful decision would be to keep silent, to stop posting that content. I think back to those days in the early 1990s, before Instagram, when I had to decide whether to be authentic or deny who I am. You know what? I'm still here. I decided to be who I was and who I am at my peril. And now, looking at the people of Ukraine who are fighting for the survival of their country at their peril, I circle back to this person and her indignant scolding about my post. 
My response is, really? Wow, what a small life you have. So I will continue to be who I am, and if I choose to post something political on my Instagram page, I understand that I do it at my peril, but I will not be cowed into keeping silent now, just as I wasn't cowed into hiding who I was all those years ago, because now I keep silent at my peril. Thanks for listening. You can get the audiobook All Grown Up Now on iTunes, Audible, and Amazon, or from my website, allgrownupnow.com. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the website, allgrownupnow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Kenneth D. King, on Facebook, at Kenneth D. King Design, or on my main website, KennethDKing.com.